Hi. So we have already created the repository. So next we're going to see how we can create the file or a folder or anything that you want to push to the repository uh, from our computer. So I'm going to go into the desktop and uh, right here, I'm going to create like a new folder and I'm going to call that new folder as my repo. So once I did that, then I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to select Git bash here. Mind you, like if you haven't installed Git, then you have to install that before this. So in order to install, just go, go to Google and just install Git Windows. Or if you are on Mac, then you do then Mac. Then the very first one that you're going to see is going to be Windows Git. So you're going to download uh, from here and then just uh, follow. So now we are, over here, so my repo, I have already created this one on, on a desktop. So I'm going to right click on it and git bash here. So it's going to give me this kind of window. Then let me uh, make the font a little bit bigger. Then all I have to do would be just to follow what is out there. So this one is just the readme markdown file, which would tell like what this is all about. So this one is just the initial kind of thing. This is optional. You may or you may not have it, but we can we can start from there. Then we're going to have a copy of that and then just paste it here. I can paste uh, it here and then enter that. So this one is echo is just anything to be printed to the screen. And this one would just print uh, the practical, which in your case is going to be probably your name. Um, that's going to be just created over here. And then you would just put it on a folder, I mean, on a file called the readme.md. So if you do ls on this, it's just to show the list of the file, or if you go back to the folder on the desktop that you have already created, and then double click on that, then you're going to see a new file has been created, which is readme.md. And as you can see, this is what we have on this one. So ls is the uh, Linux command, which shows like the, uh, to show what is out there in the directory, whether it is a file or a folder, when you do the ls, it's going to show everything what is out there. Then we're going to uh, proceed with this one and then we're going to do initialize the git of this one. What, uh, now uh, uh, take a look on this one. So if I'm doing ls, which is just showing the everything that I'm having, it's going to show me only the readme.ls, the readme.md. Or further, if I do ls.la, which shows like list all, it's also showing me just only the, the readme file over here. But once I did the git in it, and if I do the previous uh, one, then you're going to see like one more folder for the git is going to be created. So this is where git is going to be uh, containing its own information on what kind of file you have, what kind of change you have made, what new files you have added, and whatnot. So all of those things are going to be added in the git. So since we have started from a very um, new folder, then that folder we wanted to make it like a part of a git, this is the very first stuff that we have to do. Now, once we do that one for the upcoming ones, we might not need to do that unless we are working on a brand new project or a new a brand new uh, folder and files that we are going to be working on. And after that, what we do is just git add. So this applies for anything that you're going to be adding inside the, the uh, folder. So on this particular case, let me have, for example, I have only the MD file. So if I do a uh, git, and status, which shows like what is new out there, what am I going to make a change? So this is going to show me like the readme.md. How about like if I add one more uh, file over here, which is, let's say, uh, my notes, uh, let me have like the notes.txt. So if I do this one, and then if I do the ls over here, then you're going to see uh, um, git status, then you're going to see like two files are going to be created on this one or two files are going to be are going to be pushed over there so what i want you to show to, to show over here is git doesn't care if you are going to do the html or the doc file or the txt as long as there is a file in the folder it's going to just put it over there so you can think of it as a container or a storage for your files and also not only that one but also it keeps track of like the what has been changed over a period of time so today on notes.txt, there is nothing, we just created it. Next, when you are going to add, uh, let's say any, any kind of a note inside that one and then just push it, 
then it's going to make a note and then you have changed this one but you know just these are the changes from the previous so it can show you like all the changes that you are having on the file and in the long run uh, mind you this is all about like the collaborating with the with the with the team so that whatever you have added on this one that's going to be viewed by others and then it's going to be used um you know just for for the collaboration purpose okay so we have added a little bit more uh, you don't have to add a note but it would be a good exercise if you add that one and then we're going to commit this is where we're going to be adding a note or a reminder for our service or for uh, for those who are going to be working with us what we are trying to do so in this case um, i'm going to just copy whatever i have pasted from there i mean copy uh, paste whatever i copy from there and then in this case like the first copy probably i can add uh, my name uh, which is going to be practical practical uh, first commit okay and then i'm going to do that one so if you um oh uh, before that sorry before we did i uh get status no but uh, before that i forgot to do this thing so the very first thing is just to copy that the to add that one so everything that we are tracking it has to be added here so git add readme.md but if we do git status you would see that there is also one more so every file that you're going to have it has to be added if you want it to be a track so i can do pretty much the same thing on the above one and i can do notes that text it so if i do git status again mind you git status is just to show what is out there what am i going to be pushing what am i going to be making it as a part of the repository so in this case it's going to be uh, showing me like two of them now only after the, the um, i add this thing is what i can do on uh, git commit so i can copy this one and i'm going to paste that uh, i can also probably add my name practical and i can do that so two files changed one insertions and you know just all all the stuff is going to be there so if at this moment now we have committed it if i say git status then i'm not going to see anything um it uh, working um uh, trace clean on branch master so you know just we're going to be ready for for pushing it so the next one is when we are creating the very first time all we have to do would be just to copy this one and then just making it whenever we are working on the files uh let's say when there when there is like a new change or when we are going to be pushing like a new change this is where we want to put it that's that's how we're going to tell it with this one there is a little bit more into the origin stuff but uh, at least for the very first one um this one is good enough like as we go further we can explain more about it now we are all done and we are ready to to push it meaning to make it a part of the 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 master now master is the the branch so you would see before i hit an enter on this one mind you like if i go back to the practical over here there is nothing in there yet okay this is all it's showing me here because nothing has been pushed on this one there is no files uh, there is no folders or there is no there is nothing which is going to be in the in this one so you can think of it as a, a blank folder or a blank a blank container we are about to add like something into it so once i do that and if i uh, hit enter then it's going to ask you something like this one if it is for the very first time so you're going to add your username and password for the um, for your github so whatever the username and whatever the password you're going to be using you're going to be adding it in here and once you add the one that you're going to click on a login so i'm missing my login so i'm going to do it again so if you miss your uh, username or password you're going to get something like this one which says like uh, login failed Control c to cancel basic credential prompt and you're going to cancel that and you're going to do it again so it's going to give you that um, a username and password kind of a login again so you're going to be adding your credentials over there okay once you successfully uh, provide your username and password you're going to get something like this one uh, yours might be just a little bit different but somehow you're going to get something like this which says like new branch master to master and then um, you would have like this kind of message which is going to be just the success so if you go back um, once you got this if you go back to that of the uh, uh, your repository and then refresh that then 
it is no more showing you that the very first one, rather it's going to showing you the readme.md or the nuts.txt. In case if you haven't added that one, then it's going to show you only this one. But now you have successfully added your, your files to the part of the repository. So next time, whenever you are adding like a brand new one, it's not going to ask you all that stuff, but it's going to just show you or it's going to just ask you um, which one to be added. And then once you add that one, then you're going to follow that one. So let's add like a, one more stuff like real quick. So let's say I'm adding one more HTML file. So which is going to be new? Uh, this one, let me have like index.html and take this out. So it says like, um, are you sure you want to change the extension? And then I'm going to say yes. So I'm not going to add anything inside there. It's just to show you like how we can add the files. So now the over here, so if I say git status, then I'm going to see just like the previous one, add index file over here. So mind you, like the, the repository over here doesn't have that one yet. So all we have over here is just the readme file and the notes, the notes.txt. So if I want to add whatever I have worked on index.html, then the first thing is just to do git add uh, and index.html. Then I'm going to tell why I am adding this. So by saying git minus m, uh, adding index.html to the repo or any kind of message that's going to be appropriate for, for the change that you're trying to add. And then you're going to do git push. So since it has already taken your username and password, it's not going to ask you the next time. So in case it's asking you for whatever reason, then you're going to do the same thing, which is adding your username and password. Now, when we are coming back into that of the uh, practical, then you can see that now we have readme.md, index.html, and notes.txt. Now your repository can work on, uh, has like a bunch of like files, so others can also, you know, just take from this one and probably add their own or collaborate and whatnot. So a lot of a lot of cool things can happen on this one. On the top, you can see that how many commits that you have done, and um, it's going to tell you that if you click on that one, you're going to tell you like which one has been when and by whom it has been done. So all all of those things are going to be included 